Hello, the Luck Mom family. How are you? Welcome to our live stream. In case you are seeing me for the very first time, just feel most welcome. Uh, my name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia. And I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. And sometimes I do see the, the whereabouts of maids. Not only in the Middle East, but sometimes when I realize mates are going through something, I can just talk about it. And uh, those people who are stuck, maybe there are some ladies working in the Gulf. Not only ladies, men, anybody working in the Gulf, you are stuck, your agent has blocked you. I can help you reunite. So today I just want to update on uh, this case of mates uh, suffering in big cities. Eh? Beat in Nairobi, Nakuru, any city, any city in your country must have a maid. So let's talk about these traps because uh, I saw a lady who has been attacked by a gate man simply because she didn't accept uh, what he wanted. So I'm here today. I don't want to talk about Middle East today. Let's talk about our maids here in Kenya. And other cities in different countries. That is what I want us to share. Njogu Daniel, Mambo Mam, Poa Sana, Karibu Kwa Show. Uh, if you are watching me, let me know where you are watching me from. I'm going to do a shout out for the first few people. Kama Kawaida. Uh, nimekuja kushare hii information because niliona kuna mama anasema she's a single mom. Ah uh, Albright asay anasema anauliza mom nataka kwenda huko lazima uwe na account number ama unaweza tumia pesa kwa line ya Kenya lazima ufungue account utafika pale upate hakuna mtu anajua mambo na na, na Mpesa ushtuke fungua account na uhakisha ukifungua account ume connect na na, na na namba ya simu ile unatumia njoo kule mnoma hello luck like mom watching from Saudi bisha much love thank you ah Joe is from Nyeri Karibu sana njogu. So ukienda huko lazima ukue na account account hakikisha umefungua account yako. So uwekewe pesa kwa bank. Hiyo itakuwa mzuri sana. So there is this lady alienda Nairobi. Amejieleza jana niliweka nini yake. I shared her story. Though atukupata time ya kuongelelea. I know there are people when you, wale watu nyolenda Gulf pia walianzia maisha kwa hizi big cities kama Nairobi, Kisumu wapi penye ulikuwa unafanya kazi kama housemaid we don't need to assume that hakuna maids Kenya kuna maids Kenya i used to be a maid in Nairobi kabla nianze kuenda hizo masaudi ah uh, robert anasema sitopendane dunia ya Aisha hivyo juu naona unaweza fanya ni nuke juu unakuanga unaongea kama bibi mwema dada Oh, si tupendane dunia ya ishe. Hivyo juu naona unaweza fanya ni inuke juu unakuanga unaongea kama bibi mwema dada. So sijui kama Robert unatafuta bibi. Hapo ndio sijaelewa, lakini utapata mimi ni bibi ya wenyewe. Uh, ah, yeah. ya. Kama kuna mtu anataka bwana hapa hivi kuna bwana amejitokeza hapa, anaitwa Robert Ndita hapo kwa comment section me am somebody's wife yeah so niko hapa i'm talking about ladies wenye wako Nairobi wenye wanafanya kazi wanapitia changamoto kupata hiyo kazi ya Nairobi sio kitu rahisi hivyo ati unaenda unapata kazi hakuna mambo ya kuachia mtu na mtrust mimi nimekueleza mimi Albright Albright fungua account yako ukue na simu hakuna mtu unaachia Kenya hakuna mtu una trust pesa na watu uweze trust pesa na mtu those are two different things ni wewe mwenyewe utaji trust fungua account yako wekewa pesa ukitaka kutuma wewe utatoa kutoka hata ukienda kwa account kufungua kwa bank waulize wao wenyewe wakwambie bila utatuma kwenda kwa kutoka kwa wa bank kwenda kwa simu hakuna mtu una trust wewe kama uliambiwa hivyo na mimi nimekuambia kutoka hapa na wale wenye wako gulf watakuambia account yako wewe ndio utajiwekea na pesa yako wacha kuuliza maswali mingi ya account i think tumemaliza juni ulikuwa unataka kujua kama ni account unafungua money line nimekwambia unafungua account uwekee pesa yako hapo nimekujibu tu kwa sababu umeuliza sana lakini usiulize sana question nyingine wewe jua tu fungua account yako enda na line yako connect na bank utakuwa unawekewa pesa tunataka kuongelelea hizi nini 
hiyo mambo ya maids Juniliona huyo maid amepasuliwa mdomo hivi Anata, anasema meno inatingika hii pua imekatwa hivi anafanya Nairobi Ah uh, will kiss the lady anasema natamani kuja but naogopa I'm done with everything unaogopa nini nikujituma ni wewe mwenyewe ufuate sheria Mwingine anasema hey my dear sister good job natamani kuongea na wewe please kuja inbox karibu sana Albright So huyu um, msichana huyu watchman kuna ma watchman wenye wa estates wale wenye wanakaa pale Nairobi wale ma watchi wa estates Au wanaume ujiamini sana Leo tumefika hapa nyumbani Kenya na lazima tutaongelelea hii kitu kwa sababu wamezoea I know there are some who are watching me lakini unapata msichana kwa Nairobi esta poa sana Msichana kwa Nairobi hana kazi ni single mom vile ule mama alikuwa anajieleza yeye ni single mother alitafutiwa kazi na huyo mwanaume kwa hiyo nyumba yenye alikuwa anafanya sasa akaanza kumtaka kimapenzi Mwenye anataka kuongea na mimi akuje inbox Sasa huu demo akakata si demo ni mama mama ya watoto wawili akakata huyo mwanaume alimpiga proper mpaka hii meno inatingika by the way kama hujaona hiyo video ndio nimeweka hiyo link akamu akamu akamungo yani alisema meno inataka kutoka haina shida Robert haina shida usema ati mzee asinielewe vibaya haki na pole kama umeoleka usijali ni kawaida sometimes it's good to shoot your shot Ukiambiwa jibu tu unaridhika una tu usijali that is life. Estani naona ni emergency siwezi siwezi stop show ni kusikize my idea because hata mimi niko na program yangu nikikuja kufanya show ya 30 minutes after 30 minutes kama ni emergency unakuja inbox my idea tunaongea I promise nitakujibu so siwezi katisha show nianze kusikiza emergency because me I only create awareness ni mimi nikikusaidia itawezekana tu wewe ngoja nimalize show alafu niangalie message yako kwa inbox usione vibaya Ah uh, Rosalyn kimana anasema asante sana mama mi na tumanga pesa wanatumia zote alafu nikitumia mtu text anani blue tick afadhali ujiweke pesa yako my dear Scovia is from Riyadh thank you Scovia So huyu mwanaume au wanaume mawochi anakusaidia kutafuta kazi pale estates unaingia sasa ukiingia hapo unaingia kama bibi yake Hizi ni vitu zenye happen in big cities. Please pin namba yako hapa chini WhatsApp. Nina pin namba wakati mnaniwekea credit. Sasa ni, ma, hey Esther, Esther si uache tu nimalize show mama nikutafute. Ninakutafuta nitakusaidia. Aniandikie tu message kwa inbox nitakujibu. Nipe tu hizi nimebakisha tu few minutes nimalize tu. Alafu nitakusaidia I promise. Usiwe na wasiwasi juu sitaacha hata WhatsApp siwezi angalia juu this is the same phone I'm using ndaku nitafunyadikia message WhatsApp So huyu msao mawochi akikutafutia kazi huko Nairobi anaona ni kama umekuwa bibi yake automatic Sasa anaanza yani ni kama amekuona na unajua kupata kazi Nairobi by day si rahisi hata kama una connection kama the only way unaweza pata kazi Nairobi ni kwenda kwa hizi bureau Biuro wale wa mama wenye wamefungua biuro yao anakuuza kwa kwa boss. Lakini sio ile uh, Juliet kwa mbosh nimekuona from Riyadh. Sio ile yenye unaenda ati watch unamwambia unaweza niulizia kazi hapo ndani? Sasa anakuambia acha namba. Ama anakuambia acha niweze kuna boss alikuwa anasema kuna kazi. Alafu ukikubali. Anaanza kukuona ni kama amekuoa. Sasa anakuintroduce kwa boss kama bibi yake. Na hata umujuani wale wale mawachi wa Nairobi Not only Nairobi is big cities wenye wanafanya estates. Unapata mtu amezunguka the whole day kutafuta kazi, amekuangukia. Umesikia hata bosi alikwambia ukiona mfanyikazi uniambie unamconnect. So ukimconnect, unaanza kumuon. That is what happened to that lady mwenye anajieleza hapo. Amelia amekuwa ame disfigured kwa uso simply because alikataa huyu mwanaume na yeye ni mama ya watoto, alisema yeye ako na rent ya kulipa. Na yeye si ati ni mwanaume alikuwa amemkosa. Huyo ni mtu amezaa kumaanisha kuna mwanaume alimzalisha na alishachoka na wanaume akasema hapana, wacha nitafutie watoto wangu. Anaenda anapata watchman mwenye ako pale nje, amesimama, ana, ameacha bibi na watoto nyumbani. Ameanza kuona huyu single mother mwenye anahangaika hapa town, ndio nitadil na yeye. Mtu uko na zira mpaka unalarua mtu mdomo kila mahali mpaka mapua mpaka unamngoa meno. Jo amekukata. By the way kama uko, uko kama uko ushago na we are planning to go maybe in the city kutafuta kazi 
Fuata tafuta hizi bureaus. You can go to Google. Naanza Google bureaus in Nairobi. Utaona ni mingi mpaka wameacha na ambasi zao hapo. Wameacha na ambasi zao unapiga. Unapiga, unaenda mpaka huko, wanakupea direction. Unaenda mpaka huko na ID yako kama uko na ID. Huwa wanapeanga watu kazi wenye wako na ID. So ukienda pale, hakuna watchman atakuja kukutafuta. Unaona hakuna watchman atakuja kusema we ni bibi yake. Juu huyo boss ina, ina happen kama hizi za Gulf tu. Kama hizi za Saudi Arabia unapata boss anakuja kwa ofisi anasema mimi nataka mama mwenye ako miaka 20, nataka mama mwenye ako 40 years, anaenda kunichungia mshosho, nataka mama. Na hata kuna hata mimi niko na bureau nyingine hapa ya online nafanyanga tu mara moja moja. Lakini niliona inanipatia kazi ngumu. Unaongea tu unasema tu nataka mfanyikazi wa aina hii. Alafu na unakuwa connected na ye. kama dating tu lakini unakuwa connected na boss anakuchukua kwa ofisi kama uko Nairobi anywhere Usi, usitegemea hao mauochi wa gate hao mauochi si ati tunawadharau ama nini lakini wengi wao wako na rochafu sana kama umesaidia mtu kupata kazi haimaanishi wewe ndio unaenda kufanya kazi ni huyo mtu mwenye ume, umempea kazi, umemtafutia kazi anaenda kutumia energy yake kufanya kazi. So mimi nikikuja Nairobi hapo nisimama kwa gate niseme unaweza umesikia job mahali. Wacha ananiambia kuna madam walikuwa nataka mtu hapa. Mimi tumemalizana na wewe. Juu mimi kitu nimenipea kazi ni ID yangu nimeonyeshana niko na ID na niko na experience. Boss amenipenda, anapenda kazi yangu. Sio we uochi utaki sasa hiyo responsibility mi uni own. Hao nao Baba tena sema na mtu yake group ya WhatsApp wale tunakuanga karibu na wewe please my number. Okay nimesikia Robert. But ile group yenye niko nayo ni ya wale wa, watu wanafanya kazi golf. Maybe ya wale watu wenye wako karibu na mimi nitatengeneza kwa sababu umesema Robert. Nitatengeneza and I'll just tell you next nikifanya show kama nimeitengeneza. It's good to have groups kama kuna wale wa obvious kuna watu wananiwatch wakiwa Kenya lakini ile yenye inafanya kazi ni ya watu wako golf saa hii but itatengeneza that is a good idea So hao wanaume wenye mnatafutia muna, wamama kazi don't take advantage Huyo mama saa hizi sasa bila mekatokato hivyo hawezi kufanya kazi wale watoto wake wako pale kwa nyumba hawana namna na ni mama yao ndio tegemeo yeye ndio mbele na nyuma So hakuna mtu mwingine tena atawashughulikia hapa katikati. Let's make this world a better place for everyone. Ukitafutia mtu kazi sio wewe unaenda kufanya. Ukiona we ni watchman na unatafutia msichana kazi na unataka una, sasa unamtaka na wewe uko na bibi yako nyumbani. Afadhali uchukue mama yako. Uende umpe hiyo kazi ama uchukue sister yako uende umpe hiyo kazi. Kwa sababu sio wewe unafanya kazi ni ule msichana ule mama mwenye umemtafutia kazi ndiye anafanya sio wewe kama wewe unaona ni ngumu ukitaka kuoni wale wa mama wote wenye umemtafutia kazi leteni familia family members wako uwaweke pale wafanye kazi ndio kuwe comfortable you there is no way mimi utanitafutia kazi tena uanze kunitumia kwani utakuwa unalala na mimi na mimi ndio umenitafutia kazi kwani kuna kitu gani tulikuwa tume agree na wewe You wanna me you have to style up kabisa. Maybe wewe bibi yako anakungoja nyumbani, una provide nyumbani, una provide bibi yako na watoto, huyu mama pia na yeye anahangaika hii town. Lakini sasa unaona juu anahangaika. Wacha sasa mimi ni take advantage. Asiponikubali hivi nitamrarua ama ni hiyo kazi ishe. My friend, ule mwanamke hata kama huyo mwanaume alikuwa anamwambia kazi itaisha, huyo mwanaume ndio kazi yake ilisha. Kwa sababu ule mwanamke alitoka hapo akaenda polisi. Kesi iko polisi. Ju, ukiwa una, umetafutiwa kazi na mwanaume asikutekia advantage wewe ndio unatumia nguvu zako Evelyn from Sakaka na kuona Frida Kakena anasema thanks for telling us the truth much love thank you Petitions anasema big up dear your number one fan always karibu sana thank you uh, Ashley anasema niingize kwa group ya WhatsApp tune from Dubai mami thank you unaniandikia kwa inbox namba yako alafu na kuingiza Ah uh, dama kazungu anasema hi dada i hope uko poa aki manze hiyo kitu imekuwa ni kila mahali ah watu sijui wanatakaje da jamani haya mateso ya wadadangu waambie ukweli iko sasa ndio nilikuwa nashangaa vile nilikuwa naona ule msichana analia pale tiktok watu wakawasema kwani hapa ni saudi kwani hapa ni wapi kwani hapa ni gulf ni kenya ilikuwa nairobi kenya 
Baadhi kama ujiona hiyo video ndio nimeweka hiyo link hapo uone huyo mama vile anajieleza unasikia tu inakufinya inakufinya unaona tu anasema tu aki masingo mother unajua sometimes pia single mothers but single mothers they are not cursed people those are just people when you are very strong who know how to fight mtu mwenye anavaa longi na skirt at the same time alafu ana, anaweza kubalance vitu zake mpaka zinaonekana huyo sio mtu mjinga hivyo Mtu mwenye anaamua tu wenyewe mimi niko na watoto wawili huyu mmoja ni mdogo acha niende nifanye ni, ni daybug ile ya kuenda na kurudi. Ni hakikisha nimelipa rent ni nunue chakula watoto wangu waende shule. Huyo sio mtu hivi hivi. Sio mwanaume mwingine ako pale kwa gate anaona sasa hiki kisingo mother hata nikikufanyia kitu chochote there is nothing she can do. So anakutegea advantage anakupiga anajua uwezi kuna sheria. In our country tuko na sheria. Unajua watu wengine wana taking jokingly. Hata hakuna kitu atafanya huyu. Hakuna kitu atafanya, lakini kuna kitu ita, Mungu atafanya kitu on behalf of that lady. Because yule mwanaume alishikwa. Na hiyo kazi yake alikuwa anamwambia, kama uni uweze utakubali kulala na mimi, hiyo kazi nitahakikisha imeisha. Sasa imeisha aje? Imeisha aje kama yeye ndiye amempiga na yeye ndiye ameshapelekwa kwa polisi? amelala ndani nani alikuwa na makosa si hata Mungu amepigania huyo mama kwa sababu alijua tu mimi natafutia familia yangu period so wale wanaume nyo msaidia watu kutafuta kazi tafadhali consider them they are also human beings Julian ana nasema ukweli kabisa my dear unasema ukweli kabisa sande uh, ha Eliza Kimena anasema watching you mommy from Almosa Specialist Hospital Afaf. Inasema Afaf ama Afof. Thank you so much. So, wale watu ni wanatafutia watu kazi. Hapa nimesema hapa Kenya mawochi. Nimemalizana na mawochi mmesikia kitu zenye wanafanya. Haya ni updates ya big cities. Tuko na watu wanaitwa broker. Ma broker. Sio yeye atakupeleka golf. Hapa sasa ninataka nisonge nyuma kidogo niongeze 10 minutes mbele nikiongea. Kuna watu wanaitwa brokers. Anakupeleka kwa agent. Ninajua wawili majina. Kuna mmoja alikuwa broker wangu niki, nikienda ile Sudan. Na kuna broker mwingine pia ana, ana, anapeleka watu Lebanon sio kuwapeleka anakipata ma client anakusukuma Lebanon, Saudi, Qatar, Dubai. Niko hapa sasa ni wanaume mtu akisha kuconnect kazi si ati ameconnect yeye yeah, amemtumia amekutumia ame ame kama daraja wewe ndio uko na passport yako ulitafuta passport na pesa yako akakuja kwa akaanza akakuja kwa group sama hapa facebook akasema if you have a passport there is a free visa nyenye 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 wewe unaingia tu kwa inbox unasema eh hey, nimeona umesema hizi anaanza sasa mnaanza kuchat na kuambia do you have a passport unamtumia passport. Uko na nini 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 kila kitu yenye anataka, umefanya medical naweza kusaidia kufanya, tafuta pesa. Nataka tu nichanue watu wenye kwa hapa hivi. Haya. Si wewe mmoja jiona na yeye, wewe huko unamjua na yako anakujua lakini sasa umempea details zako anakukujua sasa. Anabii ni kama anakujua kabisa. Anakupeleka kwa agent sasa. Anaanza kukwambia ukienda kwa hii kazi kwenye tumia kwa kitu kidogo. Nani haizi nani atakataa kuma kitu kidogo kwa sababu huyu mtu amesaidia kutafuta kazi. Haya. Wewe unakaa unakaa nyamira <coughs> kisi <coughs> ama utio. Ako kwambia sasa tutaenda kwenye interview. Am sasa mimi nimeshika ni kama au mabraka wataki niongee kitu. <coughs> unaenda na yoga na kwanja interview unaambia unarudi nyumbani sasa sika kusafiri anaanza kukubia sasa kama una mahali pa kulala niko na mahali pa kulala utakuja ulale hapa nitakupa hapo nimeridiwa sijui ni acha We, guys, I'm sorry. 
Unajua saa zingine kuna vitu zingine unaenda kuongea hata unaweza nyongo alamate. <laughs> so mtu anaenda ana, anakuambia unaenda kwake analia na wewe. Anataka kutoa vibaya. Sasa kwa saa zingine unapata mtu <coughs> anakukulisha hapo unaenda kama tayari umebeba mimba na ya moja. Unajua kuna vitu zingine by the kuna haili na kuona sana nimeshapaa mama. Kuna vitu zingine we need to face the reality. We need to face the facts. Kumbuka sio wewe peke yako amekalia broker. Huyo ni mtu amesafirisha wasichana 20 and above. Na hao 20 ameshalala na kumi. Wa mama. Na tena si ati ni wasichana ni wa mama. Wanaenda kazi. Ameshalala na wao wote. Ju saa zingine watu wanakosanga option kama una relative anataka kuhakikisha kama uko na relative. Kwa na, na, na kama ni Nairobi ndio akupeleke hapo. Akwambia mimi na na bibi kuna zani kupe accommodation au which hata na bibi watu wanachunga tu hizi manyumba za wadozi so ukifika pale anakutumia bibaya ndiye anakuachilia anakuachi, ukienda sasa ukienda pale because i'm doing kuna follow up nafanya kesi zingine ukianza pale ukipatwa na shida nataka anza ku, una, ni kama una, ni kama sasa umekuwa sista yake siji umekuwa sista yake umekuwa bibi yake nataka ukilipwa wewe unamtumia pesa wewe unatumia pesa <coughs> kuna msi mmoja atakunika hapa hivi because ni wadau wa problem muso sasa kutumia unamtumia una, una pesa ni kama sasa yeye ndiye alikufikia kazi na ni kama ameenda kufanyia kazi not for that who broke yeye analipongwa pesa yake wanamalizana na agent. Na kwa wanamalizana na agent kabisa hakuna biashara yako na yeye tena. Yeye tu anataka kumlisha. Kum, Ukiwa sasa na shida ataanza kuambia familia yako. <coughs> Umesema lucky mama kuna shida. Wait get. Hata zina emergency. Yenye hata wataitisha familia yako ticket utalipiwa na embassy of Kenya ama utalipiwa na government. Lakini juu sasa al, alishazoea kukula za, zako na we mwenyewe uko na shida pale anaanza kuitisha familia pesa ya ticket. Na yeye hata juu mambo ya ticket inakatuaje yeye sio agent yeye ni broker tu lakini anataka anaona ni kama ukirudi hautaenda kumpea hiyo pesa. Hata kuwa na gain kutoka kwako. So atahakikisha amekunyonya proper. Zako zimefungwa njia ya kupata ataanza kuitisha familia yako. Familia yako akitaka kumwambia juu ulipeana namba yao yake kwao ataka atakuwa anawaambia tumeni pesa fulani ya kitu fulani. Kama huyo msichana mnataka arudi hapa munipe pesa. Hizi ni zile challenges na traps zenye hao wa mama wanapatanga shida nazo wakitafuta hizi kazi za umaid. By the time ukiona mtu anafanya kazi ya umaid na anakuwa very bitter, watu wame go through a lot. Kuna mtu amepitia shida hapa katikati kitamba fiki hata hiyo kazi ya umaid si ati ilikuwa ni rahisi hivyo. Watu wengine wamepigwa. Wakingangana na hizi kazi za maids. Lakini saa zingine watu wanaogopa. Mtu anaona kama hii sio kazi. Yaani watu wanadharau hiyo kazi ni kama sio kazi mzuri yenye unaweza unaweza brag nayo ukifanya. But hiyo ni hiyo ndio kazi inakuwekea chakula kwa meza. Na hiyo ni kazi ya maana sana. Mi wana watu wanasema, "Oh, unasema ex husband, unasema sijui nini." Ukiwa wewe ni maid ni maid, wazi badilika one day ukoe teacher ama ukoe daktari. Ni vile tu sasa kuna changamoto hapa katikati. Unaona kuna changamoto hapa katikati. Hata hiyo kazi kama umejitolea kufanya pia kuna changamoto inakuzuia unakosa kufanya. Maureen Daniel is following from Nairobi. Thank you. Hailini uko baharini. Bareni kwaje mama. Watu upitia shida. So maids awateseki golf peke yake. Maids uteseka mpaka nyumbani. Na hiyo fact. Ukitaka kujua zaidi ona vile hiyo mama amepasuliwa mdomo. Mimi nilikuwa nadhani ni make up. Bali kwa kuangalia hivi, hii mapua imeolewa hivi. Hati kwa sababu ya mtu anataka tu alale 
na wewe ndio walikufikia kazi hizo vitu fanyika kila mahali and it's better that is happening in our country na kuna kitu inafanyika so wale wanaume nyo wana connect watu mawochi mabroka sio wao unaenda kufanya kazi Jose Karanja anasema wewe umesaidia wengi continue we are not giving up tutaendelea sio kama uko Nairobi unatafuta kazi enda kwa mtandao Google bureaus bureaus in Nairobi bureaus za maids in Nairobi zitakuja mingi na hata watakuwa wamepeana namba zao we chukua namba pi piga ha watu watakupea wata direction penye utaenda any eh, ziko many mi niliandaka bureau moja ya Halingam yenye ku Halingam huko Nairobi ndio nilipata kazi ya, ya, yangu ya kwanza Nairobi nikifanya kazi kama maid nikapelekwa Westlands lakini ukifuatilizia mambo ya estates estates utapanda gari uenda kwa hizi mitaa kubwa kubwa uanze kupi uanze kuuliza uochi unaenda kutafuta shida tafu enda kwa biuro hizi biuro za kwasi ulizia kama wako na kazi wao wenyewe watakuuza na wale wengine wanabii wapeni maybe nilipa 500 registration kama unataka kazi you have to use money to get to get money msitaka vitu bure ndio maana unaona mawochi sasa wana wana take advantage Aisha Rema oh my god best luck mom thank you my Pluto I am following from Abba Saudi Arabia thank you Phyllis Wangai oh sorry quick recovery mom keep up the good work thank you so huyo mama at least ameleta something to the limelight unajua wao waangalia maids kama watu that is why i have decided to take all my time niongelele stories za maids because of the maid na anasija sija sija kuwa sija sija advance zaidi I'll still be a maid paka ile siku nitakufa kwa sababu nimewahi kupitia kwa hicho kiti najua vile kinaonja kama ni moto ama ni baridi and we need to stand for our own sisters we need to be our sisters keeper we need to be our brothers keepers so that at least kila kitu yenye inaendelea mtu anasikia ku valued isiwe tu unapenda pesa ya maid na huyo maid umpendi Uh, Mates look for the right way ya kupata kazi. Wacheni kuuliza uliza kwa njia. Saa hizi mambo yamebadilika, mtu atakupatia ma conditions. So usikuje kusema hai mimi sikuona hiyo kitu na watu wengine wasiumu, watu wengine wanatakinga vitu jokingly. Mtu anaweza kuna watu wako na mashida, kuna ma watchman hapa wana bibi kabisa walipoteza familia zao. So kazi yao wakipata huyo mmoja wakionja ni hivyo. Sasa ukiona wewe ni unakataa kuonjeka anakufanyia unyama. So it's better you find the right share of security in a job in the city. Kama utapata mtu akuconnect enda kwa bureaus. Sishinde ukiomba omba au mawochi kazi kwa njia. Hiyo itakuletea shida. You, you need to learn from this lady. Ukiona bila ameumia hautatamani tena kuuliza uochi kazi because sasa uwezi jua ni nani mzuri ni nani mbaya. Ni wewe mwenyewe unajua kama uko town na unajua unatafuta hiyo kazi don't tell watu penye unaishi hata mwenye amekutafutia kazi watu wengine wanatakia advantage hapo hivyo wanakuumiza na hiyo inaharibika watoto wako wanahangaika na hakuna mtu atakusaidia so ni wewe mwenyewe lazima ukwe sharp ujue what you want in your life so mawachi the only thing I can tell you is that Heshima familia zenu. Anybody unatafutia kazi muone kama mama yako ama sister yako. You can't hire all the women in the city kwa sababu mnatafutia kazi. Because hata wewe penye uko au hapo permanent. Anytime unaweza toka hapo. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll come up with those updates that I've done previously. Ni vile niliona wacha niongelelee wa maids wa nyumbani because I've seen people watch me from everywhere na ni vizuri tukielimishana and if the, you want those bureaus you can google ama siku moja nitafanya video nione wale nyomeka kama mtu hawezi google i can just google for you na niwambie wenye mko Nairobi enda for these bureaus ivo i'm not marketing them lakini like at least watu waanze kufunguka macho wajue there is a right way to kupata kazi kushinda ku, kuuliza uliza
niza uliza kwa my estate so guys see you in the next show and if you have not watched the video you can just watch it nimeacha link hapo you can subscribe to my channel by the way thank you so much for your support see you in the next show